Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a clothing DIY. We all have those pieces in our wardrobe that are old or run down and we don't wear anymore, but we kind of can't part with them because we still love them. I am such a clothing hoarder. Like I have so many pieces in my closet that I'll probably honestly never wear again, but I have the hardest time getting rid of them. So this DIY is perfect to kind of upcycle those old pieces that you still love but don't really wear to make them new and improved. So I'm going to be showing you three different DIYs and the best thing about these DIYs are there is no sewing involved whatsoever. Each one you only need three pieces, your clothing piece, your fabric piece, which you'll see what I mean, and fabric glue and that's it. So super easy and they really totally transform your clothes. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. My shirt says Mrs. Um, so I'll show you how to make this and two others. So let's just jump right into the video. In this first DIY, I'm going to be adding a lace trim to a pair of shorts. This DIY is great if you want to add a little bit of length to some shorts that might be a little bit too short or just spice them up a bit. All you need is some lace. I got three yards for about 89 cents a yard and fabric glue. Start by flipping your shorts inside out and then I started applying my lace on the inside um, inner thigh seam just so that if there's any seam showing it's pretty well hidden. Begin by applying a dollop of your fabric glue to your starting point to secure the lace in place. From there, add a few inches of glue at a time and secure your lace as you go. I recommend following the seam of your shorts if there is one. I lined the top of my lace up with the seam that I'm showing here and that was a perfect guide. Continue applying your glue and lace a couple inches at a time until you make it back to your starting point. Once you make it back to your starting point, place another large dollop of the fabric glue onto the jean material and secure the lace. And then put another dollop, dollop, that's a funny word, onto the lace starting point to secure the pieces together. And then just trim your edge. After trimming, I applied just a bit more glue to ensure that the lace was in place. When one leg is finished, repeat with the other leg, then flip your shorts inside out and voila, you have lace shorts. I had a ton of extra lace, so I went ahead and decided to add some to the inside of the back pockets just to get a little extra touch. Just trim the lace to size and then apply the glue to the inner part of the pocket. And just be careful not to glue your pockets shut. In this next DIY, I will be adding a fun trim to this old and kind of worn down shirt to bring it back to life. I found my trim again at my local craft store and I think it was probably a dollar a yard. I got a yard and a half for this DIY and that was the perfect amount. The process for this DIY is pretty much the same thing as the shorts. You're just going to be applying the lace with fabric glue on the inner part of the shirt for it to pop out along the edges. Just like with the shorts, my shirt had a nice seam to follow as a guide on the inside. So if you have that as well, I definitely recommend doing that. It just keeps things a lot straighter and a lot neater. 
I flipped my shirt inside out and used the existing seam as a starting point, hidden kind of in the armpit so that again, any seams will be hidden. Just like with the shorts, start with a good size blob of fabric glue and then every few inches add your glue and apply your trim. It takes the glue a while to dry, so if you mess up at any point, you can simply just pull the trim off and reapply. There was one point where I got majorly confused and thought I was suddenly applying the trim to the wrong side of the shirt. I wasn't, but it is super easy to just take off and then start over. I should also mention it takes about two hours for the glue to fully dry. Once you reach back where you started, just like with the shorts, I told you this was like the same thing. Apply some glue to the fabric, layer your trim over it, and then apply some more glue just to be sure that the seams are well secured. Once you're done with one side, apply to the other side and anywhere else that you wanna put your trim. I think it would be cute to also add it along the bottom. And then once you're done, you've got a brand new shirt. In this last DIY, I'm going to be adding sequin lettering to a plain old shirt. I have seen these kind of shirts all around and I think they're so cute. I've always wanted a Mrs. shirt. You see them all over Pinterest and everything. And so I thought that I would make my own with sequins. I started by laying out my word just to kind of get the idea of the pattern. And then I put a magazine under my shirt to kind of give myself a harder surface to work on. I found these sequins again at my craft store and I got a yard and a half and it was plenty. Choose your starting point and secure the sequin string with a piece, blob, dollop, poop, whatever <laughs> of fabric glue. For this DIY, I found it best to apply the glue in a dot-like pattern rather than a string because you'll be working with smaller sections at a time. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You just apply your glue in the pattern of the lettering that you want and gently secure the sequins to the glue. This one definitely just takes a bit more of patience and precision because you are creating a word. But just go slowly and like I said before, if you mess up, pull it off, it dries clear, it's totally fine. And just keep on going until your word is complete. Once you get to the end of your word, cut off any excess sequins and secure the last bit down with some glue. I'm obsessed with how this one turned out, but when Ben saw it, he said, what does Mr. A mean? So apparently <laughs> it's kind of a fail, but I think it was a success and I think you can tell it says Mrs. And that's it, super easy, and you have three new pieces of clothing. I definitely recommend though, not doing these DIYs if you have a fresh manicure, because I don't know if you noticed, but I got fabric glue like all over my nails and basically everywhere, so 
maybe I'm just messy, but maybe you shouldn't use a man have a maybe you shouldn't have a fresh manicure. If you like this video, as always, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you try out any of these DIYs or something similar, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. Instagram is definitely my social media of choice. I'm at Betty Bug. Um, and I'll have all my other media links linked down below. And please subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more. And I think that's it. I will see you guys next week. Bye. I got blowing up. Face. Are you kidding me? Don't mind that freaking yelling in the background though. That's just Ben playing video games. Ow! Oh my god! Ow! Fucking popcorn kernel! <laughs> Ow! I just put my knee on this little guy and it freaking like. Put me into shock. Mm.